from route attribute. This from route attribute is used to bind the data that is available in the route. Here is the example of the route. Here you can notice that we are passing the dynamic data as part of the URL. We are not passing the data in the query string. We are simply passing the data in the route. Let's try to use this from route in the application. The only difference in between from query and from route is that this from query will work with the query string while the from route will work only with the route data. So here first let's start with the simple data like this. So here I will be using the name. Okay, and instead of using this from query, this time I will be using from route. Let's update the URL also. Let's run this application. Now we have to pass some data in the URL. Let's say here I'm typing India. Just hit the send button. We are getting some 400 error. We are getting this error because here we have written integer. Let's make it a string. Try to run this application again. Hit the send button again. Here we got the debugger and let's see what we got in the name. Here we are having India. This time let's pass the same data in the query string also. Hit the send button. Let's see what we got. We still have the value from the route. Now in the body also we can pass some data like, like this. Just hit the send button. So let's see what we got over here. We still have the value from the route. This from route will force the application to bind the data only with the data that is available in the route. Let's try to work with the complex data also. So here I am using the country model like this and here we can simply write model.name. Okay, here we have to pass all three properties. This time first we have the name, second property is population like this. And the third one is area. Let's pass all three values in the route like this. Save the changes, run this application again. This time you can see that first we have to pass the name, then the population and then the area. Let's pass some different data from the body over here in the route. So here I'm writing China, then some population, let's say it is 300 and then the 200. Hit the send button. Let's say what we got in this model object. Here you can notice that we have the entire data that is coming only in the route. If you will try to pass the same data in the query string also, then you can notice that the binding is working only with this route data. All the query string and the data that we are sending in the body, that one will simply get ignored. Along with this from route attribute, we can also use some other attributes in this action method. So let's say I want to get some data from the query string and some of the data from the route. So here I can use both of them. Let's say I want to get the ID from the query string and the other values from this route. Run this application again. And this time over here in the query string, I can pass the ID. Let's say ID is 98. Hit the send button. Let's verify the values. Here we have everything in this model object and then we have the value of the ID. So in ASP.NET Core, there is no boundation of using multiple attributes simultaneously. You can use multiple attributes in one single method.